Hello everyone, this is my PS4 Pro and during the time got some dust inside. It's time to give it some fresh air and also make it more silent. So there are 4 clips behind the top cover in front of the console. This is where I begin by pulling it out. If it was never opened like in my case it needs some power to do it but it's not that hard. Now I gently slide the top cover to the back of the console. <laughs> there was some dust inside. I want to get access to its radiator and for that I need to remove the power supply. For doing that I will remove these four screws and more later. I'm using a TR8 torque security screwdriver so I'll be able to remove the power supply. Now we remove the hard disk cover just by pulling it out. And with the Phillips screwdriver I remove this screw which holds the hard disk in place. And now the torque screw which holds the bottom cover of the console lays behind the seal. If your PS4 Pro is an earlier model than this one, you will most probably have two seals, so you will have to remove both of them. This is a newer model and has only one seal with one single screw. I'm using a hairdryer trying to keep the integrity of the seal, however if you attempt doing this you should consider it out of warranty. Mine is already out of warranty so I'm doing this just to keep the console as it was new as much as possible. You can simply break the seal and throw it away. Now the same as I did with the top cover I start by pulling the corners. Then simply slide it. For removing the power supply here are these three screws and I'm using the same T8 Torx screwdriver. Now I can gently pull the power supply. There is a cable connected to the motherboard so I'll pull it carefully. This is the cable I was talking about. Now with the power supply removed I got access to the radiator so I can clean it better.
I'm starting with the bottom and because there are some cables and wires I'm using a handheld vacuum cleaner. I don't want something very strong to break the cables. On the other side, because there's nothing to damage, I'm using the strongest vacuum cleaner I have, so I'm also able to pull the dust from the radiator. I'm using a cotton swab, but any cleaning stick can fit the same purpose. After I consider the fan clean enough, I also try to get access to any tight area where can be dust inside. Now, with a cotton wool pad, I'm finishing large areas. I put the power supply back in its place and I start by connecting the cable to the motherboard. I consider it clean enough, so it's time to assemble it back. These three screws are all for holding the power supply. I put the hard disk back and secure it with its Phillips screw. I also clean both covers before putting them back. I'm making sure all the screws are in their place so I won't have to reopen it. Slide the cover and secure it at the corners. Before putting back the top cover, there are four more screws.
and now the same as we did before, slide them push at the corners. There's one remaining screw, the one which holds the bottom cover. If the PS4 Pro is an older model, as mentioned before, then there should be two such screws. I give it one more touch and my PS4 Pro is fresh and ready to go. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.